<laughs> Here we are, it's Weed Awareness Week at Zamzo's and we've got kind of a unique situation here where uh, we have a grassy type weed that is not preventable with crabgrass preventer and it's growing in the middle of our lawn and, and it's got a coarser blade, it sticks up, it's not quite as green and a lot of people don't like the look of this. Uh, but it's very difficult to select this out from yeah. the rest of the grass. It's too closely related. Yeah, so this is so this is a very common weedy grass that gets into a lot of lawns uh, pretty much across the entire valley. This is called quack grass. And uh, it, like you said, it isn't preventable because it is a perennial grass like we have with the rest of our lawn. So there's nothing that's going to just kill this one, which is unfortunate. If you've got a big patch of it, you've got a lot of it, and you want to get it out of there, uh, you'll also notice after you mow, this one will grow up faster than the other ones. That's another way to tell. And there's also a way to tell on the uncut leaves, there's actually a little notch just at the very tip. So that's a really good way to tell that you actually have quack grass. So there are a few things you can do to kind of get it out of the lawn. There, uh, one thing you can do is something like a non-selective herbicide. And personally what I do, uh, I just spray it. I just go ahead and take care of that one spot and I just take care of it at times. If I have a, you know, a couple spots, I'll just do one area and then I'll do another area in a couple weeks, but I'll kill that area and then reseed it. If you wanna prevent some of that damage, you can actually do something like put a, a, a sock on the end, this isn't a golf club, but if you put a sock on the end of a golf club, you can actually dip that sock in the weed killer and then just brush it over the top, just because like that. The, because the grass grows taller. Exactly, yeah. So, so you, you mow, wait for a couple of days, wait for it to get up a little higher. Exactly. And then you could just brush the tips without touching the other grass. Right. And then it will go down to the root and kill that, and then you could seed it. Yeah, and that way you'll prevent some of the damage to the grass that you do want to keep and it'll come in and fill in. You'll still probably need to reseed it after about, uh, you can reseed usually about seven to 10 days after uh, application of that and uh, you'll have, you'll fix that spot real quick. And probably you oughtn't to wear that same pair of socks again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, throw out the socks. Yeah, don't use those. All right, thanks a lot everybody. We'll talk to you again soon.